from a very early age, Ajamu Crosby's mother knew that her children had it in them to excel. He said his educational journey began way before he knew what he wanted to pursue. What my mother did, well, all of um, me, my siblings and I, there were four of us. While growing up, my mother sent us to school in Tunapuna. And primary school went to the Shepherd Hamilton in Tunapuna. And through that, getting to be outside the community, uh, it allowed me to see um, different examples of uh, of people I really get to experience the diaspora that is Trinidad and Tobago. Outside of our communities and by extension Trinidad and Tobago, there are endless opportunities for progress, according to the 24-year-old mechanical engineer. Your world is not the environment and not the community you live in. The world is so fast, there are so many things, there are so many opportunities. So, so peel back those layers or remove the dome or your community and look outside and look and observe and see the vastness of opportunity that there is out there. In his book, he shares all of the raw details of his life growing up in Beetham Gardens. The book has been received well by those who have read it. Um, I don't know if anybody had read it yet didn't cry because the starting of the book obviously details my, my um, younger life and it's pretty, pretty tough. The book means so much more to him. He expressed that he has a strong urge to help those in communities like Beetham with his story. The Jams effect is one part of his journey as he also makes himself available to host motivational talks at schools throughout the country. Even as he still waits for an employment opportunity, he is still ready and willing to share. You see, after winning the scholarship, you have to work for the government to sort of pay it back with, with your time. And I was placed to work in the Ministry of Works and Transport as a mechanical engineer, a social professional. But as I when you come job, there is nothing. Um, you have to go out and find something for yourself. And so for the past, probably I'll say two months, I've been applying and I'm not yet hoping soon that something will come through. But He's hoping to encourage the young and the young at heart to achieve their highest potential. So don't let your mind be confined to the sandbox that your community is. And also know that it is okay to be a pioneer. It is okay to be the first to do something from your community. Ajamu said his book addresses themes of identity and perception and how changing communities starts with the mind. I'm Mahalia Joseph Wharton and this is See Yourself on TTT News.